Hey guys, Tackle Tactics Pro Angler Keegan Painter here. Hope everyone has been getting out and getting into a couple of fishies, whether it be salt water, fresh water, whatever. Fishing is what it's about. But if you're like me and you're stuck in lockdown at the moment, I live in Brisbane. I think uh, Southeast Queensland's in lockdown. Pretty sure New South Wales in lockdown. Don't know what's happening in Melbourne. Every day it changes. But nevertheless, we're stuck in lockdown. We're stuck inside. So I thought, what better idea to go over some of my fresh new gear, and uh, I have found a cool new way to actually store some plastics and minimalize on space usage in your boat. So I think as an angler in general, I think we're always trying to find out ways that we can minimalize on space. So maximize on the packing of stuff in there, but minimalize on the actual amount of space it's gonna take up in your hatches. That way, we've got more room to chuck more stuff in. So, I've actually got some cool new treats from uh, Tackle Tactics and Z-Man to show you guys today. And uh, it's just, it's roughly organized. It's not perfectly organized yet. I've just put them in there. But uh, let's dive down and have a look at, uh, at what Tackle Tactics and Z-Man have to offer. All right, guys, so what I have beside me is something that I have been asking the guys down at TT if we could get in for a while. So we've made it our own and they are called the Tackle Block. So it's the Tackle Block from uh, Tackle Tactics. What it is is basically just, uh, I guess it's just like a giant lunchbox for your plastics. So uh, for the guys of you that watch the American bass scene, uh, they have got like really long ones and a heap of different designs from a heap of different companies that uh, a lot of them like to store their plastics in. So like I said, I've been asking the boys for a while if we could get it in, so now we have got these. So, the Tackle Tactics Tackle Block is what they're called. Now I've got a few in my hands at the moment, loaded full of plastics. Now, these guys can hold up to 30 packets of Z-Man plastics. So, I mean, if you're talking about Slim Swims and the two and a half inch, there's about eight of those in a packet, so eight times 30. I'm not good at math. Someone can whip the calculator out. But guys, that is a lot of plastics in this one little thing. So it really minimalizes on the amount of space, but maximizes on the stuff that you can pack in there. So if we're talking about the space minimalization, guys, I have gone from two things this big, right? Two things this big to literally like three of these. Three of these. So everything that was in these big bulky containers, which look, they were good at the time, they did the job, but um, honestly, they were not the best on space. For me at the time, they worked great, I could get in, I keep everything in Ziploc bags, I could get to what I needed to quickly, however, it did take up a lot of space, but it worked. Now, we've got the tackle blocks, that takes all of that space, chucks it in here so I have so much more room in my boat and I'm stoked I'm so happy so let's uh, let's have a look at what uh, what I've got inside these guys here so comes like this got a little zippy it zips up all nice and chill now the thing I do like about these the most is that they are insulated and um, I'm pretty OCD with a lot of my stuff. I'm, I, I just like keep every, I like keeping everything as pristine as I can. So for me, having the insulation on these boxes, I think is great. It's going to protect it from the elements. It's going to stop it getting too much air into your plastics. I like keeping my plastics as fresh as I can. It's going to stop them from getting too hot. Blah blah blah. Like moisture, it's going to keep all the moisture out. So it really keeps those plastics in tip-top shape for you to just pull it out and whack it on the jig head and she's good to go. So unzip it and uh, she looks like that. So that's chock-a-block full. If you guys can see in there. That is chock-a-block full of my two and a half inch Slim Swims from Z-Man. So I actually, I actually like to keep these guys in, in Ziploc bags. So for me, like I said, I'm pretty OCD, but I keep them in a Ziploc bag so it keeps all of the same colour together. So they're all colour coded. I've got my midnight oil, like what else have I got? I've got opening night in there. I've got 
legitimately I've actually had the whole range of Z-Man in here. But I like to keep them in a Ziploc bag so that keeps them together. I'm not fumbling through a thousand different colours before I'm, before I'm trying to get the right one I'm going for. I can just quickly sift through these plastics and uh, get to what I need to get to. Aldi is a godsend for that. Go and get some of these guys. <laughs> these Goliath. Goliath slider bags in the large size. Literally, they're like a couple of bucks for a packet of 25. And uh, in saying that, I've actually run out. So I need to get more to organize some of my other tackle blocks. But for the sake of this video, they're all nicely packed. You check that out in there. If I can get it in the camera. Everything is where I need to get it in a hurry. When you're fishing tournaments, time is everything. So if I can just quickly bang, 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 back through. Sweet, got my calico candy or I got my baby bass. That's gonna save on time, as well as the space factor. So in here, it, uh, you've got a little, a little clear see-through pocket up here. Whether you want to put some scissors in there, whether you want to put some spools of leader in there, maybe some scent, it's up to you guys. You can put whatever you like in there. I don't really have anything to put it in there because I've got another box with all of my, uh, all my terminal tackle, all of my scissors, my pliers and stuff in there. But um, they do come with a couple of dividers. Now, if I can have a look in one of my other cases, so that one's full of all of my slim swims. Two and a half inch slim swims, a couple of every color. So I've got the whole range of Z-Man slim swims and two and a half inch packed in there, nice and tight. So like, guys, pretty damn good. Uh, in this one, so this is all of my creature baits uh, in here. Now it comes with these dividers. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get this one. So this is a freshie out of the packet. So, we pull it out of here. This is a spare one that I've uh, yet to fill up. So this is what we got. Structured soft tackle block. Right there, the tag says it all. Don't know if you guys can see that, if it's going to uh, get it in there for you. So that is what we're called. So straight away, out of the packet, you open it up. That's what's inside, absolutely nothing, no surprises. But it does come with two of these plastic dividers, which is really, really cool. Plastic, I don't know. Whatever fabric this is, who knows? But guys, it's nice and thick. So basically, the whole point of these is there's actually two Velcro tags that run on the inside of here. So if you want to separate a couple of plastics, or a couple of whatever, basically you want to make a little divider. You connect the Velcro tags on that little divider to the Velcro inside there, and straight away, you've got a little thing in there. I don't know if you can see this, because it's actually quite dark. So I'll do some up and closes so you can actually see what I'm talking about. But you can customize that, that just comes out. You can put a couple in there. If you actually have a couple of boxes like I've got, uh, in the Slim Swim case, I actually didn't need any because it's all full. So I've actually saved them and utilized them in my, uh, my block with all of my creature baits. So up the back, up the back I've got some Pro Crawlers. Then it goes into the deep, uh, turbo cores. What else? I think I've got some of the smaller, of the TRD cores somewhere. I don't actually know where anything is because I've literally just done this, but pretty much all of these dividers, it's all separated. So I can quickly get to what I want. I've got some frogs in here. I've got some TRD bars. It's actually one of my favorite, if not the favorite jig trailer. I've got for jigs in summer. So it's a really, really great idea for you to just be able to keep organized as well. Like, organization, I think, <laughs> makes you a better angler because you're not fumbling around trying to find everything. You're not wondering if you, oh, maybe I've only got one of these left or, no, you keep it all nice and organized. You know you've got two or three plastics of that or you've got one packet, two packets left 
and you can just keep everything in an order. In an, in an order, in an orderly fashion. Which I like. You guys might be super unorganized and still be great fishermen, but I, it, like, it just sends, sends my anxiety through the roof. So, like I said, you can save on some of those binders if you have a few and you don't need them and you can put them all in one. You don't have to use them at all. That's the beauty of the Velcro. If you don't want to use it, you just rip it out and then you can save it, put it to home, put it on the shelf. So, that is what that is. In this one, I believe, What I am gonna do is I've actually got a labeler. Um, I'm actually gonna label up the top what's in them. So I'll have two and a half inch slim swims. I think I've got some three inch slim swims uh, in here as well. Yeah, so this is all my three inch slim swims up here. And then I go to the next divider in this section. And I believe I've got my three and a half inch grubs in here. At the front, I've got my two and a half inch and two inch grubs. So I don't do much brim fishing. I don't really need the grubs as much, but I still like to have it. I still like to have bits and pieces of everything just in case. So I've still got more room to fill up in that. Now there is a couple of other little compartments. Well, one other compartment, I should say. So we've got this little pouch, this little pouch on the back. Again, you can put whatever you like in here. Just a little zipper up the top. You can put scissors, you can put plies, you can put scent or whatever. So essentially, if you're going out in a mate's boat or whatever, and you don't want to carry a million boxes of everything, you have got everything in one little block, right? It's called the tackle block. So you got everything in one block. You can put plastics in here. It's not even, it's not even just for plastics. Like that is specifically what it's designed for. But you can put anything you want in here. You can put plastics in here. You can put your spools of line in here. You can use it to put scissors, pliers, uh, release weights, like whatever you want. You can actually put in here. You got a number of different little pockets that you can mix and match and put stuff in. I actually think that this is probably one of the best things that you can buy to maximize on whatever you want, to maximize on putting your stuff in and minimalize on space, because that is the whole point of this video, and I'm super excited. I really can't wait to put these in my boat. Um, no point putting it in my boat just yet, because I can't really go fishing because of this lockdown. But guys, the Tackle Tactics Tackle Block, check it out. I actually think they're sick. Um, that's about it. That is about it. I was just really excited. I wanted to film this video. So it's a little tip. If you guys are looking to minimalize on space and try and maximize the use of the space that you've got, some of you don't have big bass boats, so you don't have a lot of space. I do have a bass boat and I still, I still want more space. So this is really, I can't wait to put these in my boat and find out just how much room I've actually got now. Cause I'm super stoked about this. I think they're great. They look cool. You know, it's like, Super compact, got a little carry handle as well, so you can go on your merry way and take this, like you go on to work, a little lunchbox, hey, buy it, use it as a lunchbox for work, guys, you can use it, it's got a million and one uses, just go nuts, buy some, tag me in it, tell me what you use it for, I'm going to be interested to see what you guys actually use it for, whether it be <laughs> your lunch, might want to put some drinks in it, put some drinks in it, maybe some beers, maybe some, uh, some Pepsi, some Pepsi Cola, just chuck it in there. But guys, let's go back up top. And uh, I got a, one or two more things I wanna show you. But that was the main cool part. Right, we're back up top. So guys, in closing this video, maximizing the amount of stuff that you can put in your boat, minimalizing on space. It's been the whole point of this video. Super excited that I could show you guys that. It's one of our brand new products down at TT. So make sure you jump online, jump over on tacklertactics.com.au. Check out whatever it is on there, whether it be Akuma Reels, whether it be Z-Man Plastics, whether it be Platypus Line, whether it be Procure, the list is endless. Jump over. Jump over on the Facebook and Instagram pages of um, Z-Man Australia. Platypus Lines. Z-Man Australia. I think I said that. I don't even know. There's just so many companies that come under Tackle Tactics. It's crazy. We've actually got some new threads as well. My beard is probably covering this, but this is one of the new Platypus... Pla <laughs> That's a tongue twister. This is one of the new Platypus 
fishing lines shirts. We've got uh, all that stuff on the back, established, blah, blah, blah. It's really cool, it's a bit of a retro tee, pretty sweet color, really good fit, I love it. Or oh, it's one of the new Z-Man caps that we got into. Don't know if you can see anything, because I don't have eyes in the back of my head to see what I'm doing when I do that. Uh, we've got some other casual tees as well. So we've got some Z-Man ones, Z-Man on the back. So they do come in a range of different colors, like black, green, blue, mm, gray, gray is another one. We've got some beanies over here as well, so all sick for the cooler weather. These are actually really thick beanies too. Like I actually think these are pretty chill. Like, they're a mad looking beanie. So we've got some other stuff in, but that was the main thing. Really excited about the tackle block, guys. So like I said, jump over onto the website, tacklecactics.com.au. Check out the tackle block over there. There's a million different links on all the Akuma stuff, Z-Man stuff, ProCure. The list goes on and on. So guys, get over, get yourself a tackle block, take a photo, tag me in it. Tell me what you use it for. It can be for anything. Anything you want, anything your heart desires. Yeah! Very excited. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button, hit that subscribe button as well. I'm trying to get those subscribers up there. Perfect little lockdown video for you guys. So if you got nothing better to do and you're stuck at home, go into your nearest tackle store, get one of these tackle blocks and reorganize your fishing gear so when you can finally get out in another week or two, don't know how long those lockdowns going, but when you can get out, everything's gonna be super organized and everything's gonna be super chill, doggies. Um, that's about it. Like, subscribe, make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well, Keegan Painter Fishing over there. All of the socials, Keegan Painter Fishing, that is me. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've gotta clean this mess up. Stay safe and lockdown. Little lockdown Larrys, bye.